హలో ఎవ్రీవన్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై ఛానల్ రియా స్టడీ సర్కిల్ బిఫోర్ స్టార్ట్ ద వీడియో ప్లీజ్ డూ లైక్ షేర్ అండ్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ మై ఛానల్ అండ్ క్లిక్ ద బెల్ ఐకాన్ టుడే ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ అబౌట్ ఎయిత్ క్లాస్ మ్యాథ్స్ చాప్టర్ నెంబర్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ ప్లేయింగ్ విత్ నెంబర్స్ ఇన్ దట్ ఫస్ట్లీ ఐ వాంట్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ అబౌట్ డివిజబిలిటీ రూల్స్ ఆఫ్ టూ ఫైవ్ అండ్ టెన్ సో ఆల్ ద డివిజబిలిటీ రూల్స్ ఆర్ వెరీ ఈజీ బట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు రిమెంబర్ విచ్ డివిజబిలిటీ రూల్ ఈజ్ ఫర్ విచ్ నెంబర్ so first let's start with divisibility rule of 2 that is if a number end with end with means nothing but unit digit number so end with the number or the digit 0 or 2 or 4 or 6 or 8 any one of this or you can also write the divisibility rule of 2 as if the unit digit of a number is 0 or 2 or 4 or 6 or 8 in bracket you can also write even number then that number is divisible by 2 you can also take as multiple of 2 and uh, what is the divisible by 2 means nothing but if you divide any number by 2 then you will get the remainder as 0 that means it has to completely divisible by 2 For example, let's take examples. I am taking the number 178. You can tell by seeing the last digit either it is divisible by 2 or not. So, the last digit or the unit digit number is 8. So, it is divisible by 2. If you have any doubt, you can cross check by dividing by 2. So, do the division. 2 is the 16. 1 is the remainder. 8. You can write. 2 9 is 18. So what is the remainder here? 0. As just now I said if the remainder is 0 that means that number is completely divisible by 2. Let's take another number 456. So if you see the unit digit is 6. So it is divisible by 2. Still you have doubt you can divide with 2. 2 2 is a 4. Next 56 is there. 2 2 is a 4 again. Next you have 16. 2 is the 16. So what you will get the remainder here? 0. Remainder 0 means that number is completely divisible by 2. So instead of doing all this process by simply seeing you can say this number is divisible by 2 with this divisibility rule. So next take another some example 68. Is it divisible by 2? Yes because unit digit is 8. Next take some more examples 25. So here unit digit is 5. So it is not divisible by 2. So if you have you can cross check what you will get the remainder 1. What I said the remainder should be 0 if the number is divisible by 2. So you also know 2 12 is a 24. So the remainder will be 1. So it is not divisible by 2. Next 2 not 7 this also not divisible by 2 because unit digit is 7. Next 5 not 8. This is divisible by 2 because unit digit is 8. So this is all about divisibility rule of 2. Next we will go to the divisibility rule of 5. This is very simple. The unit digit of a number is 0 or 5. Then that number is divisible by 5. So very easy now. If you see the divisibility rule of 2, you have 5 digits. That means 5 numbers you have to remember 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. Uh, even you can think multiple of 2 or even number. So in this divisibility rule you have only 2 numbers that is 0 or 5. Let's see some examples for divisibility rule of 5. Let's take the number 655. If you see the unit digit is 5. So it is divisible by 5. If you have any doubt you can cross check with the division. See here 5 ones are 5. The remaining terms are 15. 5 3 is a 15. Next, you have to drag 5 from above. 5 ones are 5. So, what is the remainder here? 0. So, 5 into 131 will give you 655. So, the remainder will be 0. That means, this number is completely divisible by 5. So, instead of doing this, you can directly check the unit digit is 0 or 5. Then, it is divisible by 5. Next, take another number 750. So, by simply seeing this number, you can tell 
this number also divisible by 5 because unit digit of this number is 0. Let's take some more examples 3425. Can you say is it divisible by 5? Yes, obviously it is divisible by 5 because unit digit is 5. Next number is 9551. In this unit digit number is 1. So it is not divisible by 5. Next number is 294. In this unit digit number is 4. So it is also not divisible by 5. Next we will go to the divisibility rule of 10. This is also very easy. In divisibility rule of 5 we have two numbers that is 0 or 5. But in this divisibility rule of 10 we have only one number that is 0. If the unit digit of a number is 0, then that number is divisible by 10. Let's see some examples for divisibility rule of 10. Let's take the number 950. So in this unit digit is 0. So it is completely divisible by 10. So if you have any doubt, you can cross check with the division. So, 10 into 95 is 950. So, the remainder will be 0. Remainder will be 0 means it is completely divisible by 10. Next number is 8860. So, in this unit digit is 0. So, it is divisible by 10. Next number is 312. In this unit digit is 2. So, it is not divisible by 10. Next 7879. This also not divisible by 10 because unit digit is not 0. Next 430, this is divisible by 10 because unit digit is 0. Next exercise 15.1, first problem. Using divisibility rules, find which of the following numbers are divisible by 2, 5, 10. Say yes or no. In the given table, what do you observe? So simply by seeing this number, we have to say either these numbers are divisible by 2, 5 and 10. If it is divisible by 2, you have to write yes. If it is not divisible by 2, you have to write no. 524 already given. So let's start with 1200. So its unit digit is 0. So 0 means it is divisible by 2 as well as it is divisible by 5. And also it is divisible by 10. Next number is 535. So unit digit is 5. So it is not an even number. So it is not divisible by 2. So we have to write no. Last digit 5 means it is divisible by 5. And also, it is not divisible by 10 because last digit is 5. Next number is 836. 6 is the even number. So, it is divisible by 2. And it is not divisible by 5. And also, it is not divisible by 10. Next, 780. 0 is the unit digit. So, it is divisible by 2, 5 and also 10. Next number is 3005. Unit digit is 5. So, it is not divisible by 2. It is divisible by 5 and also it is not divisible by 10. Next, 4820. Unit digit is 0, so it is divisible by all the three numbers. That means 2, 5, 10. Last number is 48630. Unit digit is 0, so it is divisible by 2, 5 and also 10. So what you observe from this table means the number which is divisible by 10, that also divisible by 2 and 5. Because what I said, that is divisibility rule of 2, the last number should be even number or 0. Divisibility rule of 5, the last number should be 0 or 5. And divisibility rule of 10, the last number should be 0. So, in this 3, we have the common term 0. So, the number which is divisible by 10, also divisible by 2 and 5. That statement you have to write here. Therefore, the number which is divisible by 10, that number also divisible by 2 and 5. Next second one is using divisibility test determine which of the following numbers are divisible by 2. So what is the divisibility rule of 2? The unit digit are the number End with the number 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. Any one of this. this. So if it is divisible by 2, you have to write simply S. Yes. So whatever the number, you have to see the last unit digit number. So option A, 2144. 
unit digit is 4 so it is divisible by 2 you have to write yes next one is 1258 unit digit 8 it is divisible by 2 4336 unit digit is 6 it is divisible by 2 633 unit digit is 3 so it is not divisible by 2 you have to write no next 1352 unit digit is 2 you have to write as yes. next third bit which of the following numbers are divisible by 5 divisibility rule of 5 is unit digit should be 0 or 5 a is 4,38,750. Whatever the number, how big is the number, you have to see just unit digit. So, here unit digit is 0. So, it is divisible by 5. Next one, unit digit is 5. It is divisible by 5. Next, third one is 125. Unit digit is 5. So, it is divisible by 5. Next one, 639210. Unit digit is 0. So, it is divisible by 5. Next one is unit digit is 2. So, it is not divisible by 5 because unit digit is 2. Next fourth one, which of the following numbers are divisible by 10? What is the divisibility rule of 10? The unit digit should be 0. How big is the number? We have to check only the unit digit. So, first one is unit digit if you see it is 0. So, it is divisible by 10. Next B is unit digit is 0. It is divisible by 10. You have to write S. Next C is unit digit is 5. It is not divisible by 10. You have to write no. Next D is unit digit is 0. It is divisible by 10. For E also unit digit is 0. It is divisible by 10. So you have to write S. Next fifth one. Write the number of factors of the following. So here they given some numbers. We have to write how many numbers of factors each one has. First one is 18. First we have to write the factors. 1 18 is 18. 2 9 is 18. 3 6 18. If you see again 6 3 is 18, 9 2 is 18, 18 1 is 18. So this much only the factors. So if you count this 1 2 3 4 5 6. 6 number of factors it has. So we have to write number of factors of 18 equal to 6. Next B is 24. We have to write the factors. 1 24 is a 24. 2 12 is a 24. 3 8 is a 24. 4 6 is a 24. If you see again 6 4 is a 24. 8 3 is a 24, 12 2 is a 24, 24 1 is a 24. That much only the factors of 24. So count all these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So number of factors of 24 equal to 8. Next 45, write the factors of 45. 1, 45 is a 45, 3, 15 is a 45, 5, 9 is a 45. If you see again, 9, 5 is a 45, 15, 3 is a 45, 45, 1 is a 45. So if you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, total number of factors of 45 is 6. Next one is 90. So, write the factors of 90. 190 is a 90. 245 is a 90. 330 is a 90. 518 is a 90. 615 is a 90. 910 is a 90. If you see again, 10 9 is a 90, 15 6 is a 90, 18 5 is a 90, 33 is a 90, 45 2 is a 90, 91 is a 90. So if you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So number of factors of 90 is 12. Next last one in this bit, 105. 1, 105 is a 105, 335 is a 105, 521 is a 105, 715 is a 105. If you see again, 15, 7 is a 105, 21, 5 is a 105, 35, 3 is a 105, 105 into 1 is 105. So, if you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, number of factors of 105 is 8. So, like this, we can write the number of factors of the given problem. Next, sixth one, write any 5 numbers which are divisible by 2, 5 and 10. So, by the first problem, we conclude that the number which is divisible by 10 is also divisible by 2 and 5 because the unit digit should be 0. That should be common for 2, 5 and 10 divisibility rules. So, we can write here the number which is divisible by 10 is also divisible by 2 and 5 and so the numbers should be, you can write the multiples of 10 like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 and so on etc are divisible by 
टू फाइव टेन लास्ट प्रॉब्लम इन दिस एक्सरसाइज ए नंबर थ्री फोर ए इज एक्सैक्टली डिविजबल बै टू एंड लीव्स ए रिमैंडर वन वे डिवैडेड बै फाइव फाइन ए सो इट इज ए थ्री डिजिट नंबर सो लेट सी दोल्यूशन फॉर् दिस प्रॉब्लम हाउ टू डू दिस टाइप आफ प्रॉब्लम सो हियर थ्री फोर ए इज एक्सैक्टली डिविजबल बै टू मीन द यूनिट डिजिट शुड बी ऐ द जीरो टू फोर सिक्स एट एनी वन आफ दी फाइव नंबर्स सो Let's substitute the values zero, two, four, six, eight in the place of a, and let's try to divide with five. Then, if the remainder is one, then that will be the correct answer for a. Now substitute in the place of a zero, then you will get the number three hundred and forty. Now divide with three hundred and forty with five. And let's see what is the remainder will be. So five six is thirty. So you will get forty. Five eight is forty. So what is the remainder here? Zero. But according to the problem, what will be the remainder when you will divide with the five? It should be one. So this is not correct answer. So next we have to try with number two. So if you substitute in the place of a two, then you will get the number three hundred and forty two. Now divide with five, you will get five six is thirty. In next step, forty two, you will get five eight is forty. What will be the remainder here? Two. So this is also wrong. So next, you have to substitute four. Then the number you will get three hundred and forty four. Now divide with five. Five six is thirty. The remaining terms are forty four. Five eight is forty. What will be the remainder here? Four. So according to the problem, remainder should be one. So it is also not correct. Next, you have to substitute six. So you will get the number three hundred and forty-six. Now divide with five. Five six is thirty. The remaining terms are forty-six. Five nine is forty-five. So what will be the remainder here? One. So according to the problem, this is the correct one. But we have to check the remaining number also. That is three hundred and forty-eight. Divide with five. Five six is thirty. The remaining terms should be forty-eight. Five nine is forty-five. So what will be the remainder here? Forty-eight minus forty-five, three. So here this is also wrong. So according to the problem, which one is correct? If in the place of a, it is the number six. If the number is six, then only it will completely divisible by two. And while it is divided by five, it will give. The remainder one. So our solution is a equal to six. If you want, you can write the final statement. Therefore, if a equal to six, then only the number three four a is exactly divisible by two and leaves remainder one when divided by five. So like this, you have to solve this type of problems. By this, we completed the divisibility rules of two, five, ten, and also total. Exercise fifteen point one. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any doubts or if you want any problem with solution, then comment below. I will definitely explain in my next videos. If you are confused to get my videos, then go to playlist in my channel. I will upload all my videos playlist wise, so you can easily find there. Thank you for watching. Please do support me by like, share, and subscribe my channel and click the bell icon to get my latest updated videos when I post.